nice to see you or see you in my mind and I wanted to talk today a little bit about the five families, the five Buddha families that are in the mandala. The mandala, as I said before, is a template of wholeness. It, it's like a structure, you could say. Yeah, I think that's actually a good word. A structure that you place your mind in. And so there's five different families. In the center is the Buddha family. And Buddha family is the family connected to space. And the obstructed pattern, each one has an obstructed pattern and a wisdom. Uh, the obstructed pattern is confusion, bewilderment, obscuration, spaciness, kind of not being really clear, not being really present. That's the obscured aspect of Buddha family. And then the wisdom is spaciousness. It's called the wisdom of all-encompassing space or wisdom of totality. So that spaciness becomes spaciousness. So one of the things about the five families is that the energy of the wisdom is in the obscured pattern. But in the obscured pattern, there's struggle. There's the struggle of the ego to establish itself as real and solid. When we let go of that, the natural quality of wisdom, which is already present within us, shines forth. So that's the Buddha family. It's the color is white and it's in the center. And then in the east, which I'm placing my hands forward because in the mandala, the Vajra family and the east are always in front of you. The color here is blue and the element is water. In the Vajra family, the aspect of the obscured pattern or the poison is anger. And we have hot and cold anger. You know how you can get really mad and fiery or you can get really cold and cutting. And so Vajra family is both of those. And it's the same with water, right? Because water can be freezing cold, it can be icy, and it can burn you when it's hot and it's steam. And then when it's just water, it can also be very powerful. Water over time can cut huge canyons like the Grand Canyon, or it can be very peaceful like a lake. So the obscured pattern is anger in Vajra family. The color is blue, and the element is water, and the wisdom in Vajra family is called mirror-like wisdom. So your mind becomes like a mirror. What are the qualities of a mirror? The mirror reflects without reacting, right? Like if I place a mirror in front of you, my mirror is not going to change no matter what you say to it, no matter what you do to it, no matter if something beautiful or ugly appears in front of it. And so mirror-like wisdom is, is your mind being like a mirror. So it has clarity. Then to the south, which I'm pointing off to the right because that's the side of the mandala. In the south, the element is earth and the obstructed pattern is pride. Pride has underneath its self a sense of insecurity and feelings of not being enough. Therefore, we have to kind of uh, inflate ourselves, tell, each, uh, tell somebody who we know or how much money we have or what our job is or whatever. So the pride that we feel, arrogance, is actually a kind of weakness. The wisdom in the Ratna family in the south, which connected to the earth, is the wisdom of equanimity, stability, sameness. So when we trust the earth, we can relax and we don't have to inflate ourselves. We can rest in evenness. That's the south. And then behind me is the west and that's the color of fire. The element is fire, it's red and 
the obstructed pattern is craving or desire and the wisdom is the wisdom of discernment or all discriminating wisdom the the ability to really see differences so the craving of of padma has to do with a perpetual kind of grasping um, a a feeling that if i just had that person that perfect mate then everything would be fine so i have to keep grasping so it's not only in terms of relationship it's this general feeling of desire when that's released there's there's an ability to discern because we can still see things clearly we can discern them but we don't have that edge of ego or the basis of ego trying to establish itself through union with the desired object so that's the west in the mandala and it's called the padma family to my left in the north is the karma family karma means action and the element is air the color is green the obstructed pattern is jealousy and envy and the wisdom is all accomplishing wisdom in other words the ability to accomplish whatever you want to accomplish most of the time our accomplishments are really infused with struggle right we're, we're struggling we're worrying we're, we're stressing when we release that envy or that comparison or ambition then we're just there with action what I call it is being in the flow rather than being in the force and that wisdom then the wisdom of accomplishment can really happen you may have noticed that you get much more done when you're relaxed than when you're stressing I've, I've noticed with my computer like when I have a deadline and I get really stressed my computer will always jam uh, or crash or I'll lose things and when I'm in the flow and not stressed everything just gets done and so those are the five families Buddha family in the center Vajra in the east anger transformed into mirror-like wisdom in the south the earth element yellow Ratna family pride turned into transformed into wisdom of equanimity behind me the Padma family fire craving transformed into wisdom of discernment and then to my left in the north is the karma family which is envy and ambition jealousy transforms into all accomplishing wisdom so these five families are kind of like five types and probably when you heard me speak you could find yourself maybe in one or two of them maybe you could find yourself in all of them but usually we have affinities with a couple of different families and that's called our Buddha family so for example my Buddha families are Padma and Buddha the central one and then we also have the exit in the Buddha families which is how you get out of situations so I could I could be like Buddha Padma with a karma exit which would mean I would get out of a situation through working or if it was Padma through seducing if it was in Ratna consuming eating drinking or shopping and then for Vajra it would be anger Buddha the exit is to kind of cut yourself off um, like just space out forget so those are the five families and I hope that that's a helpful introduction to the five families there's much more to know about them much more to do with them and there's more things associated that with them but I wanted to give you kind of a, a bit of a review or a small introduction to them and then we can also look more deeply at each family so that's a little something for you this morning sending you lots of love and have a wonderful day thank you